Coach, Coach you've been careful with everything, smartly. Um, but then you see a play that happens out there with uh, Sutton and Darby. So, <laughs> how do you manage what you need to do to, to what's taking too much of a risk? How, how do you? Oh how no, do you get I, I mean no doubt. Hey, that's football. That's you know football. that's going to happen. Uh, con- you can only control what you can control. And I think that um, that's why, you know, here at Denver, we're doing what we're doing from the standpoint of how we practice, um, trying to protect each other. Um, At the same time, you got to make each other better. So you got to push each other to the limit. So that's just about the guys working with each other, trying to compete at all times. Uh, Because I don't want them to hold back. I don't want anybody to hold back. It's just some of the other things is what I'm trying to take control of. Some of those other, some of those other, uh, you know, when the guys get exhausted and Mm -hmm. all of a sudden there's different kinds of things that happen. Um, But that, I mean, that's, uh, that's football, and hopefully both guys, they're great, and, uh, you know, I, I just got to find out what happens. <laughs> Coach, Brandon Johnson's been a guy that's been making plays throughout the last couple of days of practice. What have you noticed from him and other receivers stepping up after Tim's injury? Yeah, I mean, Brandon's done a really good job. It's not too big for him. I mean, that, that's for sure. I mean, um, we put him in, I think it was on Saturday. He kind of did a couple things and had a great uh, little double move. Uh, for a big game in the two-minute situation. So, uh, you know, uh, again, there's so much great opportunity out here right now. So when when anything happens, you just want to see people that capitalize on it and get better and get the trust of the quarterback and the coaching staff, and he's doing a a fine job. Greg was back on the side field today. Is he doing all right? Yeah, we're just – the hamstrings are so weird. I mean, they're they're very difficult to get through. So um, as he goes through that, we're just making sure that we're doing everything the right way. Uh, You know, we're going to do that. That's another one we're going to play by ear. I mean, he's been out for a while. Um, Very happy for him. Uh, But I just want to slowly, you know, work him back in and make sure we do that the right way also. Does that mean they had the baby? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I I think so. You have to ask him. Very, very, very happy. Well, you guys go to the stadium before that first preseason game? No. Or no, you know, this is it's actually interesting for me because this is the first place I've been that offices haven't been attached to the stadium somehow from all the different places I've been all the way back to, I mean, I guess Syracuse was the first one that it, that was far away. So um, I think that we can handle a, a lot of the walkthrough stuff here. And, you know, we'll just go in there. It's a preseason game. It'll be exciting. How did the team respond to a day off uh, th- this time around? Much better compared to last week. I thought there was a lot better. I still think, you know, for me, I don't think there was enough uh, uh, popping going on. And so we'll address that and talk about that. I thought the defense really did some good things, and the offense needs to match that. And uh, this is the second time the offense was better from what they were last week, but still not good enough. Hey, we saw you talking to Nick, Nick Benito, and certainly don't want to ask you specifics, but just in terms of, Taking rookies aside and, and kind of having as many of those one-on-one conversations, is that part of kind of how you... Definitely. Continue? Rookies are a very unique uh, group of people because um, they're the number one best prospects, top guys of everywhere that they've been. And then they come here and then, the, you know, they sometimes still think that's who they are. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn, a lot of respect. I mean, there's guys that are uh, much older than them that they're playing with. So I think it's just a process for those guys, you know, from the cha- you know, there's always that rookie wall everybody talks about in the middle of the season, you know, as a coach being aware of that, making sure you're able to help push them through and just them learning how to be a pro. I mean, it's just so different than college. I mean, everybody thinks that that jumps a super, oh, you're just going to jump right in and do some great things. Um, I mean, there, it's, it's so much to learn and it's just not the stuff that we do from the playbook standpoint, but it's also just how to be a pro off the field and all the things that you do. And so I try to uh, – Ray Jackson does a, a, a tremendous job trying to help those guys and talking with them and teaching them. So um, I'm very glad we have him to help them out. As you guys transition to the next stage of the preseason, what's the most important thing you want to see from Judy and why that we get into games? And get into games? Yeah, I mean, just with Judy, just keep developing, keep owning the system. Um, continually developing in that, that kind of that chemistry with Russell. We want that to uh, just keep growing. And, and, I mean, we do so many things. We want to see how much we can push him on how many different places we can put him, how many different routes he can run. And, and then, you know, once we get to the game, we'll kind of siphon that stuff down. But right now, we just want to throw everything at him and see what he can do. Thursday figures to be a, a real litmus test. Collectively, what is it you hope to see from this football team? Right Some now? great competition. You want to see those guys step up. I think the best thing about going against a team like Dallas is, you know, it's always, just going against different people is always great, but it's also a completely different scheme than what we face. I think that's something we're always looking for is, you know, you go against um, this defense day in and day out. You understand the intricacies on how to beat it. Uh, but now you're facing a completely different animal with what Dallas is going to bring in here. So, one, it's about being able to adjust on all the things that we've been working on up to this point to now a completely different front structure. And then at the same time, watch those guys compete and get after it and play together and, and have a nice, good practice, um, clean practice that, that we could just see different guys attack others.
Do you have coach eight year old better than for this coaching staff have a chance to game plan for someone else? Yeah, I mean, again, it's preseason. Uh, I mean, you're not sitting here trying to, you know, truly sit down and do a typical game plan. You would. I mean, otherwise we'd be way behind because they get here Thursday and. Today was a training camp day. So I think in all the preseason stuff, again, it's about evaluation of the players that you have. You want to do some of those basic things, simple things. Just see guys block, catch, all those basic looks instead of truly trying to get an advantage because you don't want to show anything to other people down the road. And you want to see when it's just mano a mano how a guy's going to play. You know Coach Adriel you know better than anyone way back in college. How do you think he's handling this being a first-time D coordinator? What do you see from him out here? In he's doing place? great. It's funny. It seems like just, you know, just watching his competitiveness out there. Um, you know, we had, a, we had a good showing in our competition period with the offense, and just watching how angry he was that uh, they had lost one was, was pretty great. But, you know, it's just everything about him is competitive. You know, ever since we've known each other, I mean, we compete at anything and everything. And um, it's great to be on the same team. But, you know, out here, we naturally get competitive. And, uh, you know, I love that about him. Tomorrow's a historic day. And the uh, I, I, I think that would be something we could do. I think in the end, the idea is, is to always look for the deep ball, anything down the field. We're always looking for those explosive plays. You always want – it's funny, Tyrone Wheatley always tell, uh, tells me, you know, just his whole career, it's um, throw a go. Just throw a go. I don't care if it's completed or not. It's just going to make it easier for me to run because they're going to be nervous and they're going to have to defend it. So I think a, a lot of the things we want to do is always down the field. Well, Owner, Hackett, 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 can you tell them how much you love KJ? <laughs> I'll tell you that Kareem Jackson, he's he's like a fine wine as he ages yeah. uh, more. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a yeah. movie. Yeah, that's yeah. my guy. Last one right here. Officially, at least you're gonna have a new owner tomorrow, new ownership tomorrow. And today is the end of the Pat Bowling era. Your reflections on both of those. Uh, you know, it, for me, getting here, it's been a unique situation. Uh, knowing that there was gonna be a transition and, and seeing how that was all gonna happen, and and just kind of understanding that. I was brought here to do a job and get this team ready to compete for, to get in the playoffs. And um, for me, I've really focused on that. that. That has been my priority is this team and getting these guys uh, ready to rock and roll and excited about coming in here every day to play football. When it comes to the ownership, you know, I'm so excited to get to know them, to meet them and, and move forward. And, uh, you know, I know there's been an amazing history here and you can learn a lot from history, the goods, the bads and everything. Uh, but right now it's about just trying to put ourselves in position to win some football games.